and gentlemen, and it's me, PD, back with another Cal Alcool Cinema Cast. And tonight, or today, or whenever you're listening to it, I am joined by one of the team behind the new channel, NYX TV, UK TV. And uh, welcome, Corinne Ferguson. Um, and you can watch this channel on. Um, channel box on iOS and Android, 3V, channel 289, um, Distro TV app, the Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, Android, iOS, Vizu, Samsung, and, and finally TCL. And also, <laughs> you can go online and watch the channel live as well. I use channel box on my me, me iPad usually when I'm watching it. Okay. Oh, cool. um, because that's um, what I've got the easiest ac- access to. I've got one of those yeah. big, giant iPads, so, you know, when, especially when I'm watching it late at night. Yeah. Um, I don't disturb <laughs> anybody. Headphones on, you know. Absolutely fantastic channel. Um, how long have you been up and running so far? You know, we've uh, just passed our one year anniversary uh, of the channel running in the UK. So we launched on November 14th of 2022. Can't believe it's been a year already. And uh, yeah, no, we're we're excited and um, we're we're loving the response we're getting from uh, from our UK fans. And uh, we just can't. Uh, can't wait to to bring you um, even more uh, delicious uh, content into the new year here, as as we're pretty excited about what we're trying to trying to program and give back to uh, to all our horror fans. Well, I mean, I'll be, I'll have been sharing the channel then for probably just under a year since I discovered it, um, and sharing it on the Carlisle Cult Cinema Club Facebook page. Um, just about every single day, I think. You nice. know, if I, see, if I see a post by years and I, it's not come past the time that the show's on, I um, give it a share and, you know, you get a lot of likes and comments. So that's always a winner. So hopefully, you know, that's yeah. brought a few few new new people to the channel who didn't know you were there before. Um, yeah. I was hoping to get onto Sky. Oh my gosh. Well, yes, we're hoping to really broaden our our reach in the new year. Um, That's one of our main focuses um, as a team is to try to to really expand um, where you can watch us. And we've gotten, you know, a lot of uh, comments about when are you going to be on Sky? And so we're trying to trying to figure that out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, but anybody in the UK, if you've got you got three of you, then, you know, Channel 289, get yeah. yourselves on there and you just can sit with your yeah. slippers on in front of the fire watching okay. some crack horror films and cult TV and, you know, there's some absolutely fantastic stuff on because you've just started showing Tales of the Unexpected. Yes, yes. Actually, we've been showing that one for a while, but we're always working to improve on our on our advertising and promotion. And so we were focused, obviously, for a long time and still will be on promoting, of course, our our prime times of of 9 p.m.s and and some of our 11 p.m.s. And um, but yes, we're starting to showcase a bit more that, you know, we we actually are really, really proud that we are um, 24-7 programmed, programmed channel. Um, and we, uh, we are really excited about how we curate the content and program the channel for, for our fan and viewers journey um, uh, with us. And so we actually program daytime. Not a lot of people realize this, and this is very difficult, but we program daytime um, horror and there is such a thing <laughs> there is i mean you, you've shown the likes of tales from the crypt and uh, the t- kill the crypt keeper cartoon yep. and yep. the house of frightenstein which we never got over here um mm-hmm. originally when it was back in the back in the, the 70s yeah um, i grew up on that stuff I, in canada so yeah but i have watched it years ago when i, when I discovered it it was like why have i not seen this before i need to watch right. it <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, 
yeah. downloaded and found episodes where I could find them. And it's great. Yeah. It's great fun. Um, yeah. And I wish we had got stuff like that over here when I was a kid because I was a monster kid growing up. Oh, yeah. And it went fine. We, didn't have, we didn't have much in, you know, apart from late night double bills and that really was it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we and so for us because we are a free ad supported streaming television channel, the fast channels that's all the rage now in the, in the industry kind of thing is um yeah. because of that we you know, we only make money when when people are watching, of course, and that's why we wanted to to try to be very um intentional with our daytime. So that literally you could turn us on and leave us on. That's kind of our our mantra here at Nick's, um, at Nick's, um, TV, turn us on and leave us on. And whether it's seven in the morning or noon or two o'clock in the afternoon, um, you know, grandma or the two-year-old or the eight-year-old won't be traumatized. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, it, it kind of, when I first discovered it, it kind of reminded us a little bit of the, the old UK horror channel when it was still up and running before it got changed to legend i think it got changed right. to and yeah you know made a dis disappeared and started showing action films and things and you're just like where's the old horror channel but now we've got nick says yeah i wasn't yeah, sure so. how to pronounce it because i'm always just called it you know um, it's it. all good everybody yeah. does yeah uh, yeah everybody does <laughs> and, uh, yeah i'm getting i'm getting it confused as well because it's so easy to get confused um when you're saying it especially with my brain um but i think it's it's absolutely fantastic for what you've shown and you've okay. shown some absolute classics as well like the church and you know sort of oh. and we, yeah, we love love um you know again we want to <clears throat> we so again one of the things i do love also about uh i think it makes us well, it makes us unique in the space right now is for sure. Um, you know, we're not a bunch of suits up in a up in an ivory tower somewhere is programming the channel um, in, in that respect. We really are horror fans and 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 we love the genre. And there's three of us as co-founders. Myself, I'm I'm the CEO. I'm more of that business side of things. That's kind of been my background, yeah. my training. Um, we've got David Bond is our chief creative officer and all things content curator. And he is our genre uh, master and, and expert um, over 30 years of being an award winning um, film, horror film uh, producer and writer. And, and, uh, and then our uh, other co-founder, Chris Wright, um, is our technology and data um, expert and, and genius there. And so we round each other off very nicely because we all love very different things about the genre. Yeah. And, um, and I think that really kind of rounds us off very nicely. And of course, it was one of more of my things that I was passionate about is bringing that family friendly programming to the channel during the daytime rather than just letting I don't even know like just infomercials or some other shit run right so we yeah. really wanted to yeah. make sure we were entertaining all the time and 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 really bringing you know the best of we really truly believe in crafting a journey for for the viewer no matter when you tune in whether you've been tuning in right from the beginning um, we ask, you know, for a little forgiveness, because of course we've had to replay some, some content a fair amount of time. We try to keep that down. We try to keep it interesting and entertaining, um, you know, constantly, but we really are crafting a journey, um, for whether you are new to the genre and just want to watch something really fun and interesting, or whether you're, you know, you've been with the genre forever and, and are what we call an official and love it um you know we want to craft a, a great experience for our viewers because we appreciate you guys are giving us some of your time which is the most precious commodity and if you're giving us yes. some of your time um we want to make it worth your while so uh and because we want you to tell everybody about it and we want you to keep coming back for more so so yeah we we just we're really excited about some of our programming going into January even, um, you know, we've got um, a great partnership with Fright Fest 
Um, and we're going to bring something special with Alan Jones um, is going to be um, hosting um, a uniquely curated um, piece uh, for us in, in January. And uh, we can't wait for that. We love playing with some theme nights. Um, you know, whether it's Hammer Sundays or late nights with the Euro sleeves and some real fun racy stuff and, and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah, we, we always want to bring something, uh, something interesting. Oh, excellent. I mean, Freight Fest is obviously a bit of an institution in um, the UK now. Um, I, I could, Alan Jones is a lovely bloke as well. I met him Pre Fright Fest days at um, one of his the first ones he'd done back in the very early, I think it was 92, I was, I was 17 at the time. Oh, wow. So, yeah. you know, about 32 years ago, something like that. That's long, awesome. <laughs> long time now. <laughs> um, you know, well, we're, we're just a wee young whippersnapper. You, but no, Alan's a young Alan lad, is a, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, just a young, young horror loving chappy. Um, <laughs> but no, um, Alan is an absolutely lovely bloke, um, and I've not spoken to him. I've spoken to him online, and that's been about it since. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lovely bloke. So he'll, I'm sure he'll have something interesting for you yeah. as well. Um, yeah, is it? So I, I, I was going to mention what you had coming up in January. But, yeah. You know, um, you know, you've also you've already mentioned that. Also, um, I've got to mention you can be followed on X. And also on Facebook as well. Yes. Um, are you on Instagram? Is Instagram? We there? are. Yep. We're we are. And Instagram. Yep. And um, we're new, playing around with TikTok and some of those other platforms. But you can definitely, yeah. yeah we lean in uh, hard on X um, under our uh, Nix uh, UK handle, and same with Instagram and and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So if you want, you can catch everybody on there. Also yeah. on the site, you've got your um, newsletter for people to sign up to, Dark Ride. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for, for that reminder, uh, PD, because we really, really want to encourage people to sign up for our newsletter. You could go right up to our website, um, nixtv.co.uk and sign up on our website for the newsletter and it's again fantastic and we always try to you know we put we put a lot into everything we do we don't want to just throw shit out there so uh, so even our newsletter we work really hard on trying to craft something interesting for uh, for you if you're going to spend the time to read it and and uh, to be able to follow along as to what's coming up and always some interesting trivia insights into the content and and um, try to create some fun even kind of drinking games not that we're promoting excessive drinking but you know just to have some fun and follow along on the on the uh, on the programming and stuff too so. yeah no I thought I'd get them in as well um, and also, there's um, a review section in there, I noticed, where yeah. um, you're reviewing kind of cinema releases and physical releases. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've got an amazing um, uh, partner uh, in the UK with us, uh, James Whittington. And uh, yeah, he's been fantastic in helping put out uh, some reviews and just getting us, uh, you know, getting some some content out there, news articles and, and stuff as well off of the off of the website. We just also launched a new um, merchandising store. So I would say go check it out as well. There you go. Christmas is here coming. So. Yeah, limited edition um, hoodie that we're, we're running and, and having some fun with, as well as just some of our other uh, regular um, T-shirts and, and stuff. So, But we're going to keep adding to the store um, into the new year, so check back for some new items. So there we go. Um, also, as well, you've got the interview section where you interview filmmakers, actors, Etc. I know it's done there, so people can check out some interviews with upcoming actors and directors, and you know things yeah. that are coming up. I noticed there was um, oh, what was the latest? There was one just put up on December the sixth, and I can't remember who the guy was interviewed. Um, Simon Rumley. No, that's, no, that's the one. That's yeah. the one. Yes, 
Simon Rumley interview. So if you want to check that out, that's on the website as well. And the website's got some great stuff on. Um, so get yourselves having a look on there. I mean, is there anything? I mean, what's your what's your personal favourite kind of horror film, and have you screened it yet? Oh yes, um, yes, we have. But see, so I grew up on um, on the lighter side of horror, and so I'm a Disney kid horror. <laughs> right, right. Got my skeleton dance jacket on for those that can't see us. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, so I don't know that I'll ever get my hands on some of those great um, Disney shows. The Watcher in the Woods is is still oh, one yeah. of my ultimate all-time favorites. Like creepy, great. freaking great, great. Penny Davis and, and stuff. And even, you know, Escape from Witch Mountain. I mean, so I grew up on more of the lighter, lighter stuff that way too. Yeah. Um, but I do, you know, um, I was introduced to the, a lot of the Jalo uh, films from um, my my partner David David Bond and and love them you know um, Deep Red and uh, Suspiria and and stuff and and just really loving them and always um, just so. I don't know if you can see. I've got me Suspiria t shirt. There you go. <laughs> love that. Perfect. Perfect. So so yeah and and you know we definitely have those. Um, those in the in the wheelhouse uh, and stuff, but some new stuff coming out that I am also very excited about. We're hoping, I have to say, I have to stress, we're hoping to secure it. We're kind of in negotiations right now, um, but we're we're hoping to bring on some of the Elvira um, series. So nice. yeah, yeah, and uh, can't wait, can't wait for that. And we're also looking to bring on a new. Uh, it, well, no, it's an old TV series, of course. It's called um, Hunger. Hang on, let me just check my notes here, PD, because the brain. Yes, Hunger, Hunger. It's it's an it was a HBO series, um, uh, with Terrence Stamp, and David Bowie. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. Um, connected to the Hunger film, and it's got is it Tony Scott's uh, producer on it? That was a great series. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great series. Yeah. Um, it was shown on Sci Fi Channel over here um, oh, years yeah. ago, and I love that show. Fantastic. I think I've got it on one of my hard drives somewhere. Nice. Um, yeah, no, we're super excited. And... Yeah, super excited yeah, I mean, about that as well. From that time, I mean, you also had the likes of the Friday the 13th series, yeah. yes. um, which would be great, great yeah. to, to see again. Um, the Freddy series. Yeah. As well for his nightmares. Yeah. Um yeah. what else was it? Nightmare Cafe, that was another good one. That was from Tob Hooper, Toby Hooper. Oh yeah. Um, he was involved, yes. involved in that one. Um PSI Chronicles, which was Dan Aykroyd. And that was another oh, cool. one all around that. Yeah. That's yeah. that was a Canadian one, PSI Chronicles, yes. from what I remember. Yes. Yeah. And Poltergeist Legacy, there was another good um, yeah. old school. TV show oh, yeah. from all around that time. There's but, there's yeah. our dream categories of the content we're chasing, and we've got to get we've got to get more revenue flowing and and stuff. So the one thing we say we do we do assure you is that we we reinvest in in our content, and yeah. so you know the more people that can can keep watching us and and start watching us, and then we can reinvest in in some of the better, bigger content and stuff. We are, you know, wanting to progress into some of the more modern um, stuff as well. We're never going to forget about, of course, our, our beloved yeah. classics um, and stuff, but a lot of it, it's, it's budget, you know, um, content rights and, and everything are, are complicated yeah. and very expensive. So, so we lean into what we can and as we can keep growing, we're going to keep reinvesting into, into some of those uh, other um, pieces of content that, that we can, but yeah, no, we're, we're really, really excited about that. And, you know, we, I love how, you know, we want, again, want to bring, you know, just, a lot of uh, the love of Hammer and and the Jalo um, uh, genre to to our channel, um, you know, always love that. So so yeah, those are a lot of the things we're going to keep focusing on. But trying to merge into a little more of that newer stuff in in the coming year, twenty ten to twenty eighteen, yeah. 
um, kind of uh, playing around with with that um, time frame. Oh well, I mean, so far, you know, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching what you're putting out, oh, and I can't you. wait to to see you know continuing going forward because you have put on some crackers. I think tonight you've got um, the church on. Yes, um, yes. I, I think we're on the 15th or 16th of December at the moment, just to put a date on it, but the church is on, and that's a fantastic film. People call yes. it Demon's 3, but it isn't Demon's 3. You know, <laughs> it's not Demon's 3. I, you know love, I, mean? I love how all these... I, I, can't, I honestly can't keep up even, and uh, again, David tries to, to keep me... Uh, quizzed and, and up to speed you know what's uh, how many different types of names for this movie and I'm like I, I'm out I can't keep up <laughs> you know like, <laughs> no, there's that, the American that... name there's the you know uh, European name or what I'm like I, I can't keep up seriously <laughs> no it's it is it's um there's, yeah. there's that it, it gets so confusing it can I've just watched yeah. the um the 72 nasties oh okay. um, I watched every one over over October. Um, my brain was melting by a, by the time I got to the last one. But, I don't even I mean, know how you keep it all compartmentalized uh, and which is which and all. Oh my! Yeah. I, re- I reviewed I reviewed every single one. Wow! Wow! And they're all on the Carlisle Cult Cinema page. But oh, it was m- mind melting. Um, yeah. But I mean. Yes, I've shown a couple of few of the nasties as well, like Night in the Bloody Earth, she'd screened. Yeah. Um, just as I was in the middle of doing it. So I shared your screen of Night in the Bloody Earth and put my review on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Um, Happy to help. <laughs> it's, yeah, hey, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, no, yeah, we... it's, it's... yeah, go ahead, sorry. No, go on. I was just gonna say, yeah, we love we love leaning into into you know sort of the again the 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 stuff from from the history that has either been you know really highly criticized for its you know extreme natures or just you know banned um, you know yeah. the video nasties we lean into that hard um, you know um, even um, films like Peeping Tom. You know, it was Great very film. controversial, very explicit, you know, but um, we feel those are those are also important pieces of, of uh, cinema yeah. for the genre. Um, and people need to understand, you know, um, the history of it. That's it. And that's it. And I think like with channel, channels like yours, people are like, able to get that kind of, you know, way in yeah. to... You know, it's got a big catchment. Yeah. With the, with the stuff, with, with your stuff through the days, you could easily sit with, you know, your kids, your grandmother, and watch yep. them. And about seven, eight o'clock, get yourselves away to bed. Nine o'clock's coming up. We've got the church start and cheers. You know, <laughs> exactly that, that kind of that kind of thing going yeah. on, which is great. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to see what you have going forward and it will be um lovely to see how the channel progresses yeah yeah no we're we're super like super excited like i said like you know focusing always on on that balance of content bringing forward you know some of the great stuff some of the new and interesting stuff as well too gonna see a little more like i said some more blending in of a little more current day modern horror with yeah. with our you know um favorite uh you know classics and 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 stuff as well and and you know i we will always program you know some of the silent stuff as well um it's not for everybody always but good. i think again it's no. uh, there's just some fantastic stuff to understand and again, it, it's important in the whole arc of the history of the genre and, and see that evolution, right? I think that's what's also fun um, is to see the evolution of, of how horror, you know, has evolved over those years. I'm still fairly impressed when I look back on some of the stuff from the 70s and, and 60s even and what they, you know, what they were able to accomplish given where the technology exactly. was back then, yeah. where... All of the, you know, special effects, makeup, 
uh, stuff was back then. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's fun and it's interesting to see. So we, we always feel that's going to be an, an important mainstay in, in what we're wanting to program and what we're wanting to do there too. And, and, you know, we even really um, strongly promote that any, you know, young filmmakers that um, love the genre, they really should watch our channel for that, again, for that, that journey, the history, learning and understanding. I will always say, you can't call yourself a horror fan unless you started with the black and white stuff. Mm -hmm. I was look. I was I was born seventy four. My dad was a big horror fan, so he would get me up to watch the old black and white horror films, your Draculas, oh. your Wolfman, yes. you know, yeah. the Creature from your Black Lagoons. Yeah. Frankenstein, you know, all of them, you know, the the full band of across the universal stuff, right into the sci-fi stuff as well. Yeah. And then Hammer, Amicus, yeah. Tyburn, and all of them. I was watching all of those. And then I was the right age in the early 80s, VHS came along. Mm -hmm. And I seen most of the video nasties before the 84 band. Oh, cool. All yeah. mostly because of my dad. Nice. You know what I mean? So I think that's always the way you should, you know, start yeah. the old stuff and work your way up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Then you can truly really... call yourself a fan. Yeah, for sure. And so one of the other things we're really wanting to, to continue to build on um, is we're really big wanting to, you know, again, um, community and, and with the horror community, um, trying to incorporate again, just you know, ways that you know the community can can talk about and and discuss what they're watching or you know how they're feeling about what they're watching and and stuff like that too. Because I think that's a huge part of it. Is is that you know everybody wants to have like the shared experience too, right? And so well, I think you've around. got the, you've got the forums obviously on the yeah. website yeah. as well which obviously helps with community. But, I mean, the horror community and the cult movie community are probably one of the most passionate communities I've ever came across. I agree. I agree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, they, and if they like something and find something they like, they'll stick by it through yeah. thick and thin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very loyal. So, very loyal. Yeah. Very, very yeah, loyal. Yeah. You know, and, and, and yeah, and we want, again, we want, we want to give back to that um, because we do understand, um, you know, what, what a loyal fan base um, is about and, and we really want to give back into that and, and really, you know, be part of that community um, at, everywhere. Um, we're, uh, we launched in Canada here in um, just in June of, of 2023. And then um, we're looking to launch into the U.S. in June of 2024 in the new year here, too, and, and stuff. So, you know, in every every new region and territory and country we're in, we, we try to be um, very we try to try to be very um, aware of, of the differences in those communities and yeah. stuff too, and the fan base and sometimes things that are going to resonate extremely well in the UK are not going to resonate as well in the U S for example, or something. So, um, and yeah, and that's where just being, you know, a part of the communities and, and being involved in, um, you know, things like Fright Fest and being a sponsor, yeah. being able to even be, present um you know we also um were um involved with glasgow last year um also which was a lot of fun and and um gave away um uh tickets and accommodations for the weekend um to the winner of of our contest and stuff and we're looking to launch more contests and everything so you definitely want to keep keep following us we're trying to you know we're trying to um change up our, our social media, keep it interesting as well. Obviously not just advertising what we're, what we're showing, but again, just yeah. trying to, trying to, you know, kind of raise some engagement in, in the genre and, and whether it's trivia questions or polls or just, you know, trying to share some, some interesting information. 
that's it. That's all you can do. And it is hard to um, grind away on social media sometimes to get a following, to get... It is. You know, it is a grind. <laughs> some, you know, I know with my own page how hard it can be to get... Oh, my God, Because you know, yeah. all you're looking for is just someone to like your stuff so you can invite them to the page and... You know, exactly. It's like, come on, please. Yeah. And you put so much of yourself into the pages and your Twitters and your social media. Yes. And I don't think people understand how hard, you know, as you know, you no. see how hard it can be. It's stressful. It is. It is. It's a lot of work. And again, you know, we're, we're, our company has only been operating for, for two years. We're a small team. And, and yeah, we do, we have, uh, even, you know, though we're, we're a small team right now, we've act, we've got someone dedicated to doing all of our social media and, and stuff because, you know, again, however, all that works, I'm not a social media expert by any means. Um, but it is because the way those algorithms work and I swear, like they purposely want to keep you down in the feed unless you're doing the level of posting and, and paying to boost posts and it's a whole yeah, it's a whole thing, right? But yeah, it is a um, lot um, of work. It is a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been running running hours. For, you know, but we, we've had a I've had a couple of viral posts which have helped. Nice. But yeah, yeah, it is. It's a, it's yeah. You, it, it's all about getting a viral post. If you can get a viral post, yeah, you're laughing. Yeah. Um, and you can yeah. get them people liking your page. But yeah, it is, and but you're doing all right because see, I seem to see as advertised whether I'm on the Carlisle Cult Cinema Club page, whether I'm on the Paul P D Donaldson um, private page, or mm -hmm. I'm on the other page. We've got the Carl Carl Cult Cinema Club, which you emailed. Yes. Um, yeah. The you know on that page, I see see the end. You know, I see it's everywhere. I see Nick's, yeah. it's just Nick, Nick's, 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 Nick's popping up, popping up. Oh, and cool. sometimes okay. I'm like, have I shared? And I'm like, I'll, I'll click on it, I'll go, have I shared that on my page or have I shared that on my own page? Oh, Which page I'm sharing on? <laughs> you know, so, but I do, I, I, I share, um, you know, at least the, the nine o'clock post every day. Okay. Thank um, you I've so started much. sharing the 5 p.m. ones because they've started cropping up, I've noticed. So yeah. the five PM ones get shared as well. Um, Thank you. But yeah, yeah it, that's all. Yeah. That's all you can do. You know what I mean? You, you see something you like. We've got just yeah. under eleven thousand. Um, just under twelve thousand followers on our page. So I post it, and hopefully, you know, yeah, a good a good handful of our followers see your stuff and follow and like that's, you and watch and that's where that's, that's again and that's that community that i love and and thank you again so much pd I, I you know really can't thank you enough for anybody that like you said that even just likes it shares it is a retweet is like oh my god amazing so that's that's so that's helpful it. for us and i and i love it because we do we want to grow we want to be around for a long time you know, we want to we want to um, really um, service this amazing horror community um, that um, that we love and are, are a part of as well. And, and um, you know, and that's where we, you know, love the feedback to by from anybody. Right. So um, we're open. We're open to it all. We're, we're not afraid of, of harsh criticism. And if there's something showing that just isn't hitting or resonating and and uh, we do we do appreciate knowing it too right because that's just we're playing around with some things too and and you know we got to try to we well, got to try to program for the majority of course but you know we're we're also open to some things if there's something you haven't been able to find or it's hard to find um you know then we want to hear about it and uh, and we'd love that that's really a lot of where the generation of nicks came from with uh, chris and david and i we were sitting around um uh, you know a table having a beverage in in uh, 2020 and you know we were all just like oh i was so annoyed with you know of course coming you know from the heart of the pandemic yeah. and everything and so annoyed with just how you know, disparaged all this content was. It's all over the place yeah. and yet it's no place. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I have to go here to get that. And I have to go yeah. 
for me to get this and I have to, you know, do all this work and effort. And, and we were like, well, that's like, why don't, why don't, if we're annoyed by it, I'm sure a lot of other people are annoyed by it. And, and then we started looking around, you know, even into the marketplaces and, and um, Canada and UK and US and Australia. And we are like, it doesn't really seem to be like a true, pure, you know, dedicated horror channel. And so we just decided maybe it was hey, too you, many you, beverages, but <laughs> just decided like, okay, like let's, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Like in Canada, there is nothing, there is not even a dedicated horror channel on, on traditional broadcast TV anymore. There used to be an amazing channel called Scream TV um, and it shut down, I think in about 2012 and there's been nothing really since. And we know, Oh, um, Screen TV had over a million viewers and subscribers when it was when it was going, and we know we know there's a fan base in Canada. We're not you're, you know we're not big, but uh, a lot of landmass, but not as much the population. But but we know we know there's fans, and same thing in in Europe and the UK and and stuff. We know there's fans and. Um, and yeah, and so so that's a lot of what, you know, prompted us to even start the company was to say, you know what, we think there's a need here and and we think we can really do a great job at um at filling that gap for people and 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 we I don't even, you know, remember to some extent um when how we we ended up obviously um being live in the UK before we ever even were live in in Canada and again it was just something that worked out with um a platform they were ready for us and we were like sure yeah. <laughs> in a lot of respects um actually this is yeah coming back to be a little bit more now <laughs> uh coffee's kicking in um is, <laughs> is the rights the rights to a lot of the content was easier to get in the UK um, than it uh, than it is in Canada and um, and so then we thought well yeah why not why not launch um, in the UK and and then we started realizing you know what was kind of transitioning in the space with um, with horror extra and then now it's all transitioned into legend and you know we uh, won't talk <laughs> yeah. I mean it was it started off zone horror I think it was it started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the horror channel and right. then we got yeah we got yeah. screwed and it's legends and the show kind of the odds i mean we lost tcm oh we yeah lost tcm recently yeah so, wow wow well we're here we're here for everybody here so <laughs> we so just gotta get can, on more platform get on sky yes and we're, yes we're laughing yeah you know and we'll sure. be a lot easier. Expensive. To, a lot uh, of that people. is expensive, which I is I can imagine. I can imagine. Right. So but we're we're not giving up. We're we're gonna keep pursuing and um we're gonna keep promoting and the more people we have like yourself, PD and the Carlisle Cult Cinema Club to help promote us and and um and encourage people to watch us um and stuff just um will help us grow and and uh and then we can get on some of these bigger platforms and and um reach even more audience so we're excited really really excited about that yeah well you know fingers crossed it all goes swimmingly well mm -hmm. um and so far so good that's all i can say i'm enjoying it um, and I know you. some of the people who, you know, from the page, they've like, oh, that's on tonight, blah, blah, blah. Um, and a few folk have asked how I'm watching it, and I've said through chat box, uh, channel box, sorry. Yes, um, yeah. and That's how I watch it um, yes. on my iPads and things. So and I've told people to get that to, to, for watching, or you can go direct to the website yes. and watch it direct that way as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, if you can't, you know, if you struggle, if you can't get on the apps or struggle yeah. with them you can go direct to the, the website which you can get from the website from the facebook page the, the x twitter page um the instagram and everything like that all sorts of social media will take you straight to the, the website um and it's worth having a go on and reading some of the things that yeah. they've got on the website 
Um, it's a cracking channel, and I've, you know, Car Cult Cinema Club has nothing but love for it. Oh, and um, we're here to chat anytime you fancy it as well. If you want to promote anything, just give us a shout, and um, we can sort that as well. Um, but yeah, um, awesome. I'd just like to say thank you for coming on. Stick around once we've signed off, and I'll have a little chat to you. Um, but I'd just like to say thank you for coming on. I think we've covered absolutely loads. Um, you're an absolute gem, Corinne. Um, <laughs> lo- lovely to talk to. And um, absolute legend, Corinne Ferguson from the Knicks channel. You thank bet. you for coming on. Well, thank you, PD. It's been a pleasure and a lot of fun. Excellent. So that's been me, PD. That's been Corinne Ferguson. And um, you'll catch us on the next episode of the Carlisle Cinema Club. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless.